and it just mask them. And then, have you ever seen them? They're like this. I'm just doing little dots to symbolize it. Those are my dogs are playing. I'll excuse them. Oh. Hi, you guys. So I'm back. Um, I did do a couple of the little um, flowers and um, and then I was going to do the wings as flowers. And um, I did them with black. Ah, got my finger. Forgot. But it's still wet. <laughs> okay. So the wings, because they're black, the black's making it look farther. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them uh, with raw umber instead of the, the black. Because it doesn't look like the wings are part of her. I can um, add some of that color onto that so I can harmonize it. So let's see what happens when we add a little bit of raw umber to the mixture that's in the black of the shadows. And I'm also gonna do a little bit in here where the shadow is for the, uh, for her, right here, for the, for this, let's see. All right, that looks a little bit better. Kind of makes it pop a little bit more. The raw umber pops a little bit more than the black. There's so much, um, linseed oil that is actually taking some of it off. There we go. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing here. See what happens for the wings to kind of harmonize it. I think some of that shadow that gives that curve when you um, have the wings. And I'm just dabbing it on there. So we can kind of blend it in if we want. Let's see. If, if you add wings to your things, as far as angels go, I've seen angels, uh, people paint angels with um, different types of wings. Some of them have um, fairy wings, butterfly wings, tree wings, electric wings, all that kind of stuff. It's up to you. Now, what we can do is um, I could just wait for that to dry and add a wash of the umber, but I'm not, I'm not going to do that. And I'm also re-emphasizing some of the hair that was on there. Because um, I'm deciding to put some of the raw umber on there. So it looks like the wings are part of her. That they're not separated from her. So, yeah, last night when I was doing the... Um, and then that way you can kind of see how I've done the wings anyway. Because I'm just reiterating. And this is all I did last night. I was just dabbing it in. Because I want the wings to be soft. As I'm dabbing it in here, I'm also softening the edges so that it looks nice and soft and it's a little bit of a different of a color of the background too so let me see i'm gonna neck in there let's make it a little bit thicker put some more of that linseed oil because the more linseed oil you put on things of course it gives that water effect that water color effect so couple minutes already. Now what I could have done is I could have scraped it with a brush, uh, with a knife, and it would have taken the, the wings off. It would have completely taken them off. And I could re-emphasize that later. As the wings start going down, the value starts changing because it starts getting lighter. Because you have that curve going in, so it has that shadow. When you have a curve, you have that shadow, and as it comes down, the shadow goes away. It starts getting lighter. Let's 
So the value starts changing into wider value. I could like easily dance them on here. There we go. This is just the way I like to do my wings. You guys can do whatever you like. My pink is a little thick, so I'm thinning it out. There. Remember, anything that we can kind of see in the background and we really don't want to emphasize, we can just go ahead and now soften the edge. So. I'm going to soften it a little bit. If you're going to use the same brush, make sure it's really, really dry. And I'm just softening it. Yeah, because things from, that are a little bit far or things that you don't want to emphasize, you can get, lighten the focus. So things that are appearing now farther, things that you don't really want to focus on, just soften the edges. You can use your finger, you can use your brush. If you use your finger, please make sure you wash your hands. I don't want you accidentally forgetting and, I don't know, wiping your eyes or something afterwards. So. There we go. Then, this is a bigger brush that I have. You don't have to at wings. You can kind of still, you can, not kind of, you can see the black on there. There we go. Now I'm going to grab a different brush and just gently um, just gently fade those. Blend them in. Just blending them in. This one still looks really dark. This one looks black. There we go. Right? There's no need here. Then, and it's okay if it's got a little bit of a different color because these are the wings, so that's fine with me. All right, so now I'm gonna, I'm putting more linseed, thinning out the paint, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of white giving it that different color, that chocolatey paint. There we go. This is going to be better than that black. It's thin, so it's fine. Now we're, that black's kind of going away. All right, I'm lightening it more. See different values? There's three right there. And I just, remember, I just like doing my wings like this. I'm just dabbing it because I think wings are soft. So. It's a little bit thicker, the paint, but not by much. It's a little bit like um tacky right now. Yeah, what I was going to do last night is I was going to do the wings. I was going to make them like the um, um, butterfly bush. And, um, but I didn't like them. So I went ahead and I changed them. All right, this is a different value. Let's 
So we're going to have a whole different value right here. And sometimes what I do is I'll get uh, some of the angels that I have. And I'll see how the wings kind of look. And then I go from there. Or I just do what I'm doing right now. Just make it as I go along. And I'm kind of doing like little V's. As I'm going up and down, I'm, I'm making like little V's. Give it like a little indication of wings. That's, that's what I'm doing. So I'm just going to say, bring out that arm again. Right. Highlight some of that. I'm just going to lower them softening it. That's all I'm doing. Alright, I just picked up a little bit. Right here. I like it. I can come back, wait for it to dry a little bit more, and then come back and um, touch up on some more of it. So I don't have to keep piling and piling and piling paint and you wait for it to dry a little bit and I'll take it better. We soften this. Soften. Soften some of it. That way. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put a little bit here to give it that light and flex as, it, as things turn. I'm going to go back to um, some of the um, right here. That one has black in it, so a little bit of white so I know where it's at. Because sometimes I forget. Okay, more black. A little bit, changing the value. There we go. Okay, so I just wiped it a little bit. So. Not going to be changed right there. Same here. Mm -hmm. And then, because the light's hitting it more. Kind of like it better. It kind of, it's got black, but then it's got the you know, raw umber, so it looks more unified than before. Let's see, I'm, I am gonna let it dry tomorrow. So what we're, I'm gonna start indicating now is the butterflies, and if I want to put um, more uh, butterfly bush on there or Mexican milkweed or any milkweed, I'll, I'll probably do it. But I want her to be glowing, so. I'm going to I'm trying to see. I want the butterfly to be right here. And I went online and I referenced some butterflies, so there is a little thing right here, so I'm gonna do the butterfly. I'm trying to see which one I wanna do. I'm 
Ini satu sama satu tuh. That. So there's one, and I'm going to let that dry before I go to uh, add the details. Let me somebody got my mail. 